Oh, hey, good to see you again. Do you like good food? Me too. Mmm. Mm. So good. What was that? What if the kingdom of God could have good food? Whoa, that's a great idea. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? I think so too. Whoa, sorry about that. You're not supposed to eat the camera too. So guys, we've been looking at promises of hope that God gave the people of Israel and through Israel to the rest of the world. That would include us. And today we're going to look at the promise God gave of a real feast that he's going to prepare, but not just your normal feast. This is literally the best foods and the finest of wines. So for those of us who like good food, this is pretty exciting and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's go. In Isaiah 25, it says, on this mountain, the Lord Almighty will prepare a feast of rich food for all peoples, a banquet of aged wine, the best of meats and the finest of wines. So there's three things I want to point out. First, he says, on this mountain, the Lord will make a feast. What mountain is this? Well, we talked about it a little bit in the last video, about, but the Bible describes that this mountain called Zion that's in Jerusalem is the mountain that God has chosen. And so when it talks about on this mountain, it's talking about Mount Zion in Jerusalem. And this is really clear. If you go back to the chapter right before this, the very end of chapter 24, it literally says, for the Lord of hosts will reign on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem. So this mountain is the mountain of the Lord, Mount Zion, that's in Jerusalem. This is the place where Jesus is going to reign from when he returns. And so when it says on this mountain, we're talking about Mount Zion. But next it says, on this mountain, the Lord Almighty will prepare a feast. Did you catch that? The Lord Almighty is the one preparing the feast. Can you imagine a feast in the kingdom of God? But the one who prepares the feast is literally God himself. And we see something similar to this in Luke 12. It will be good for those servants whose master finds them watching when he comes. Truly, I tell you, he will dress himself to serve, will have them recline at the table and will come and wait on them. What on earth? This is a crazy picture of the humility of Jesus. It says that he will dress himself to serve. He's actually going to serve and wait on his servants at this coming feast. And third, it describes the feast having rich food, aged wine, and the best meats and the finest of wines. Did you catch that? It says the best meats and the finest of wines. This is going to be an awesome party because the Lord himself is the chef. And you better believe if God's the one making the food, it's going to be the best. It's going to be the finest. That is so cool. I bet you would like to try one of these strawberries. Here you go. How was it? What's that? Oh, you couldn't taste it? That's weird. I guess I'll just eat it for you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now this is good. But could you imagine if the Lord made a feast? That food would be really good. Mm. Yeah, I'll eat this one for you too. But when is this feast going to happen? I think the answer is pretty simple. It's going to come. It's going to be in the kingdom of God. Look what it says in Luke 13. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God. But you yourselves are thrown out. People will come from east and west, north and south, and will recline at the table in the kingdom of God. And indeed, some who are last will be first, and some who are first will be last. So did you catch that? It says Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the prophets are in the kingdom of God, and people will come from east, west, north, and south to recline at the table. So it's the feast in the kingdom of God. And it also says Luke 22, for I tell you that I will not drink of the fruit of the vine from now on until the kingdom of God comes. 
Later on in that chapter, it says, I bestow on you a kingdom just as my father has bestowed one on me so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. So this feast is going to happen when the kingdom of God comes. It'll be on Mount Zion where Jesus is ruling from, and it's going to be the best meats and the finest wines. You might be like, oh no, I don't drink wine. But what's going to be so awesome is we're going to have resurrected bodies where we won't have to worry about getting drunk or overusing the wine. It's going to be so pure and so good. But this is one of our pieces of hope. But it's also really interesting because this is connected to the resurrection of the dead. Maybe you watched that video I made about the resurrection of our bodies. If you haven't, I'll put a link below. The resurrection of the body is actually talked about in the very next verse in this passage in Isaiah. Look what it says. On this mountain, so continuing to talk about Zion in Jerusalem, he will destroy the shroud that enfolds all people the sheet that covers all nations he will swallow up death forever the sovereign lord will wipe away the tears from all faces he will remove his people's disgrace from all the earth wow this feast is talked about hand in hand with the resurrection of the dead so jesus returns he raises the dead he sets up a kingdom of righteousness and in that kingdom we get to enjoy a feast. He throws a banquet. It's gonna be so awesome. You may have noticed that as we've been talking about the hope of Israel, We've actually just been talking a lot about a coming kingdom. That's because the hope, the Jewish hope, is the hope of a restored kingdom of Israel. And this is so clear because Jesus, who's Jewish, his name is Yeshua, he is the Jewish Messiah. So the kingdom of God is a Jewish kingdom. And so I really hope in the next few videos, we can start to talk more about the kingdom of God and ask the Lord to bring us some clarity about it. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm so thankful for you guys and just how you're following along on this journey. God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.